Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, this is a quick uh, video on how to get uh, shortcuts for uh, restart or uh, end shutdown. You can press cancel and we can put them on your desktop. First of all, you want to go to accessories in Windows XP uh, accessories and open the command prompt. And we're going to type in, where's the, hold on, I'm going to get my magnifier. There it goes. Okay, make it easier. I'm going to type in, just shut down. Oh. And then a slash and a question mark. Okay, it gives you the, what they call arguments. Um, in this example, um, you can create a shortcut for just to shut down the computer, uh, not a restart, just shut down. So it says here dash or s shut down computer and a time. It'll 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 ask for a time. So for example, I type in shut down minus s, which is to shut down the computer minus T and time in seconds I put zero zero and get rid of this magnifier when I press enter it'll pause for a second because uh, I'm running a virtual machine but it will shut down the computer so here we go enter and now Windows is going to shut off. Okay, I'm back to the desktop. So I have to restart the virtual machine. Here we go. Give it a second to boot. Okay, while it's loading, I'll uh, load up Notepad, Accessories, Notepad, and we'll take the command that we did before. I'll magnify the screen again. Oops. Back to the host. There we go. And we're going to type in what we did in the uh, command prompt shut. Now we'll type in shut down. Minus S for system, I guess. Minus T for time. Zero, zero. And we're going to save it as a file. Um, save some time. We'll put it in quotes. So we'll just call it uh, shutdown. Oop. Quotes. Sorry. Shut down dot B as in Bob A T. So shutdown.bat or a batch file. And save. And close the magnifier. Now we'll save to the documents. And it's called shutdown.bat. And we'll create a shortcut on the desktop. And now you can just rename it anything you want. I'll just call it shut down. Now again, um, when I click this icon, um, it'll shut down the computer. But first, let's change the icon. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, there's the shutdown icon there. And select that one. Press OK. Apply. OK. And now you have a shutdown button. Now if you just want to restart, you can go to command prompt again and magnifying. Nope. This time it's shut down. Down. 
instead of system we just want to reboot and guess what it's minus r and then the time in seconds I just use it zero zero seconds and we'll close the magnifier and again when I press enter uh, this time the computer will restart give it a second there it goes touched anything it's just restarting on its own and there we go Windows is uh, has restarted so we'll go back to uh, our notepad and start menu accessories And I'll get my the magnifier out. Mm -hmm. oh dear. Okay. This time, same command that we typed before. Shut down for restart. R minus T zero zero. File. Save as. Again. Put it in quotes. So it won't take, save as a text file. Uh, restart. Dot B as a mob again. Bat. So it's bat, a batch file or a bat file. And then you click save. Close this out again. Close this window. Back to documents. And there's restart dot bat. Create a shortcut. Close this window. Rename it to restart. Uh, now, given an icon, problem is, is there's no restart icon in uh, <coughs> the shell manager. Um, so I have to get a bit, of, a bit creative, I guess, or whatever. You just take your pick. Uh, Anything will do for now, I guess. Keys look fine to me. Whatever. Okay. How's that? Restart. So there you go. You have two buttons. One for restart. You can put it in the icon tray. If you want. Or you can uh, delete those. Yes. wherever you want okay so shut down and restart okay pretty simple thank you very much for watching and have a great day